bad girl make you want to face now. Nah. Hello guys, welcome. Big up on yourself. Welcome to my channel, Beautiful Nick again. And guys, I've been so depressed lately because of the coronavirus issue. So it's been a while since I've been in front of the camera, but today we're going to be discussing things that you should consider before moving to Japan. Also, you can watch this video if you have just moved to Japan, as well for tips, guys. <laughs> the first thing that I want to discuss is phone plans in Japan, because who doesn't like talking? <laughs> Actually, I don't like talking, but anyways, in, in Japan they have three main cell phone providers, Dafamo, AU and SoftBank. No, guys, these can be really expensive. They can go up to like 10,000 yen per month. However, what you could do is you could use other phone plans and other companies which use their database system. And this is going to make it much more cheaper. No, guys, calling in Japan is very expensive if you're supposed to do it through a regular phone call. So I would definitely suggest using apps like WhatsApp. And in Japan, Line is very popular. Even though some plans come with minutes, like, to be honest, you don't really even end up using them. So it just makes sense to get a cheaper plan. For example, my cell phone, bill is like $3,280 including tax. No, what this plan comes with it is it has it has 30 minutes and I get 3 gigabytes super speed data and after that it's just lower. So it's unlimited but after the 3 gig it goes at a slower speed which I don't mind because I have Wi-Fi at home and Wi-Fi is like everywhere in Japan restaurants and so on so yeah you don't really have to get a plan that is heavy on data unless i don't know unless you just feel the need to so the company that i use is sakura mobile and there were other companies as well but why i chose sakura mobile is that the other companies that offered these kinds of services they wanted you to have a debit card or a credit card which I didn't have at that time you know Sakura Mobile allowed me to do a deposit and then they sent the package to me all of this I did online so I did not have to go in store at all through Sakura Mobile so what happened was they sent me the package and everything via mail and I did cash on delivery so for this I signed up for it to pay at 7 eleven so yeah that was a nice option with sakura mobile that's why i went with them however if you have a credit card you can go ahead and choose other options yeah but like i said if you should go through the major cell phone carriers it's gonna be very expensive and i would advise that you carry an international phone rather than like getting a plan with their phone because it's gonna be really really expensive and the phone isn't even gonna be unlocked yeah so i wouldn't do that if i were you <laughs> so next i'm going to discuss banks in japan so when i just came to japan i signed up with jp post so they have that bank which is for the post office so this is very effective if you're like getting paid and like they don't charge you to use their ATMs, so that is convenient. However, they don't give you a debit card, they gave me a flash card. They gave me a cash card, which I can't use to buy anything online. So, so I decided to get another bank account. Now the JP bank, it's okay, but like they don't really offer much support for English speakers. And I don't, I've never, I was trying to sign up for online banking and it was just very difficult. So I changed gears. So I opened a bank account with Shinsei Bank and I got recommended to this by other ALTs who had lived in Japan because they offer great English support. I have had some experiences with them and they were very helpful and you could use the cards overseas as well. So it just has a lot of great benefits 
I know that there are some other bangs that you could try but for me as a foreigner I think this is the easiest bang and guys I didn't have to go in store or anything I did everything online which is so great with Japan it didn't cost me any money to sign up any money to get the cash card to get the debit card what happened was at first you would get your cash card and then you have to apply for a debit card no when I got this debit card I just changed the payment from my Sakura mobile plan to debit card and they refunded me my deposit so it's really smart to get a debit card and it costs nothing so and it's very easy like it's very quick so now that we're still on money I'm going to talk about remittances so if you want to send back money to your country there are several options for you for example when I just got here the first one I used was Western Union and I did this through the Family Mart convenience stores now personally I don't like Western Union because it's a little expensive I think and the rates i don't think the rates are fair but i mean everybody has to make a dollar right but if you want cheaper options you definitely can think about stuff like world remit and transfer wise i've definitely used them before and i haven't had any problems with them so far yeah and it's very cheap to send money through through world remit for example like some in western union like to send about fifty thousand yen it would cost me like let's say three thousand yen to send it but if i should send this through world remit it costs about 300 yen and the rates are much better than that for western union so these are things that you definitely need to consider if you're planning on sending back money to your country now that we're past that the next thing that we're going to talk about is food in japan it's extremely hard for me to get local dishes here in japan it could be because of where i am i'm not in the tokyo area or like osaka area or those big cities so maybe if i was there it wouldn't have been so difficult but yes getting some stuff here is really hard but you can get them so what i would suggest is you try to join facebook groups and stuff like that to see what other japan jamaicans in japan are saying or whichever country that you're from yeah but you can get it it's just difficult sometimes some things you can get from amazon however not all things are sold on amazon all right so the next thing that we're gonna talk about is like natural hair products and makeup like if you have 4c hair like i do honey it's gonna be extremely hard to get anything for your hair it's so stressing at times what i do is i order stuff online i use this website called look fantastic which i love they offer free shipping to japan it's a uk based website i can get stuff i mean it's not all the things that i would want but i mean it's some options you could try ordering from amazon but like the shipping is going to be really expensive because some of the stuff you have to get from like amazon us so you have to pay for like extra shipping but like if you order from look fantastic it's just going to be free shipping so i prefer look fantastic i can leave a link down below well all the things that i'm mentioning i'm going to leave a link down below so you can check it out and also for makeup guys it's gonna be hard if you have colored skin like i do which i'm i'm proud of it's gonna be very hard for you to get foundation in japan i have been to tokyo and i still haven't seen any foundation that matches my complexion and i'm not being a bitch about it and i'm not bashing japan or anything like i understand where they're coming from like they usually have like a one race society like most of them look the same anyway so i understand get so just find other means to get makeup so yeah i buy all my makeup and hair products from look fantastic yeah also like shampoos i tried their shampoos for a while but it just doesn't do anything for my hair so yeah i mean maybe if my hair was relaxed it wouldn't be too bad but because it's natural and i have these lovely curls to take care of I have to consider these things <laughs> so yes guys lastly I'm going to talk about the NHK man like if you're just moving to Japan or you just moved to Japan please do your research on 
the NHK man what it's about. I can't say too much. But yeah, do your research, guys. Yeah. So, guys, I really hope this video was helpful. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you share your experience with me. If you have already come to Japan, if you're thinking about coming to Japan, you could ask, ask me anything that you want. You know, I respond to comments, guys. So, don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. Help to grow my channel, guys. So yeah, don't forget to be different, be unique, be beautiful, most importantly guys, be you. I get this messed up all the time guys, but thanks for watching. Peace out.